In class today, we talked about two vocab words from Chapter 1, homogeneous and heterogeneous mixtures. Homogeneous describes a mixture that's uniform throughout. The particles are small, smaller than what can be seen with a microscope. We are talking about the size of atoms and molecules. Particles are small and cannot be seen. Particles of a heterogeneous mixture pass through a filter paper because they are so small. Heterogeneous mixtures are also called solutions. When made correctly, lemonade is an example of a homogeneous mixture. The first sip of lemonade should taste exactly the same as the last because it is the same throughout. Heterogeneous mixtures are the opposite. Their composition varies throughout. In a heterogeneous mixture, some of the particles are larger and can be seen. You may or may not need a microscope to see them, but the particles can be seen. Filter paper can trap the larger particles in a heterogeneous mixture, letting the smaller particles pass through. Filter paper can be used to separate the particles of some heterogeneous mixtures. Heterogeneous mixtures are never called solutions. Heterogeneous or homogeneous? Well, that depends. If the lemonade is pictured as above, as simply a glass of lemonade mixed perfectly, then the mixture could be called a homogeneous mixture. The mixture could also be called a solution. If another person were to think of a pitcher of lemonade with lemon slices and ice added, this would be considered a heterogeneous mixture. Because the lemon slices and ice cubes are visible, it is easy to see that this mixture cannot be uniform. I think that we are ready to practice using these terms. Homogeneous or heterogeneous? A pail of sand and water. Heterogeneous, because the mixture is not uniform. When the sand settles to the bottom, the mixture has more sand on the bottom of the pail than at the top. It is not uniform. It is heterogeneous. Homogeneous or heterogeneous? Air. Air is a mixture of mostly nitrogen, around 78%, and oxygen, about 21%, along with other gases, like carbon dioxide and argon. Molecules like nitrogen and oxygen, and atoms like argon, cannot be seen, even with most microscopes. The particles spread out evenly so that every breath taken has the same amount of oxygen and nitrogen. Air would be a homogeneous mixture. It could also be called a solution. Human blood. Homogeneous or heterogeneous? Human blood is a mixture of many things, such as the oxygen-carrying red blood cells, the white blood cells that are part of our immune system, and platelets that help our wounds heal. All of these parts can be seen under a microscope. A tube of blood collected at the clinic may look evenly mixed and uniform. But when left to stand for about an hour, the heavier iron-containing red blood cells settle to the bottom of the tube. The lighter white cells settle on top of the red cells. Platelets and plasma, the lightest components of blood, sit atop the white cells. Once settled, blood does not look uniform in composition. It is a heterogeneous mixture. A banana split. Homogeneous or heterogeneous? Banana splits are heterogeneous mixtures. 
every bite is uniquely delicious. If we were to put the banana split into a blender and make a banana split shake, mixing it until it looked uniform, it still would be a heterogeneous mixture. The particles would have to be blended down to the size of atoms and molecules before it could con be considered a homogeneous mixture. Chocolate syrup. Homogeneous or heterogeneous? Chocolate syrup is made up of molecules such as water, sugar, cocoa, salt, and other homogeneous mixtures, such as vanilla extract, corn syrup, and other flavorings. Chocolate syrup is homogeneous. Milk. Homogeneous or heterogeneous? Milk looks uniform to the naked eye, but look again at milk under a microscope and you will see the fat globules randomly arranged. Milk may look uniform macroscopically, but microscopically its non-uniform nature is apparent. Milk eventually settles, forming a cream layer at the surface. Homogeneous mixtures or solutions never settle. Milk is a special type of heterogeneous mixture called a colloid. Milk homogenization is accomplished by forcing the milk at high pressure through small holes. Milk homogenization is an essential tool of the milk food industry. Homogenized milk tastes better.